security forces today gunned down four terrorists in an encounter in Nogam sector in Handwara. Army foiled an infiltration raid along the line of control in Nogam sector of Kashmir's Kupwara district. Four weapons have been recovered from the militants. In a separate incident, a policeman was martyred and two persons, including an officer, were injured in a gunfight between security forces and militants in Jammu and Kashmir's Poonch district. Deputy Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir, Nirmal Singh, condemned the terrorist attacks and held Pakistan responsible for creating trouble in the state. Information and Broadcasting Minister Venkaya Naidu today lashed out at preacher Zakir Naik for taking shelter behind the religion. He said that Zakir Naik must answer the criticism levelled against him. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said Swami Vivekananda's stirring Chicago speech on universal brotherhood and harmony back in 1893 demonstrated the strength of India's rich culture and the power of universal brotherhood. Defence Minister Manohar Parikar has said that his ministry is waiting for a report from the DRDO on the Embraer deal and promised that if there was a criminal misconduct found in it, he would order a CBI inquiry. He was speaking to reporters at the sidelines of an event in Baroda. The final leg of Spanish Talgo train's trial run between Delhi and Mumbai completed this morning. Talgo train reached the destination in 11 hours and 44 minutes at 150 km per hour speed in its final trial. In Jawaharlal Nehru University Students' Union election, the Left Unity Alliance swept all the four central panel seats. The Left Unity Alliance was between CPI, ML, Student Wing, All India Students Association and Students' Federation of India of the CPIM. Karnataka has moved Supreme Court for urgent hearing on its plea seeking a direction to restrict the quantum of water to be released from River Kaveri to Tamil Nadu from 15,000 Qsecs to 1,000 Qsecs. The application filed last evening has also sought modification of the Apex Court September 5 order. Close to 1.5 million Muslims from around the world prepared on Saturday night for the climax of the annual Hajj pilgrimage at a rocky hill known as Mount Arafat. The pilgrims to mark Sunday with day-long prayers and recitals of the Quran holy book at the spot in western Saudi Arabia. Baloch activists held protests in Melbourne in Australia against Pakistan's atrocities in Balochistan. They thanked Prime Minister Narendra Modi for extending support. Baloch Republican Party also held protests in Busan, South Korea against Pak atrocities in Balochistan. Afghanistan has stopped Pakistani trucks from going to Central Asia. Afghanistan's move came after Pakistan stopped Afghan trucks from entering India through Vaga border. Nepal's newly elected Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda has said his priority would be to build the foundation of trust with India during his upcoming visit to New Delhi from September 15, his first foreign trip after taking office. In Syria, more than 100 people have been killed in airstrikes on rebel-held areas. Hours after the US and Russia announced plans for a truce. The Board of Control for Cricket in India, BCCI, has set in place a strict qualification criteria such as international experience and an age cap of 60 years for appointment of selectors. In a move as a part of reforms being put by BCCI, it has set coming Wednesday as a deadline for applying for the posts of senior, junior and women national selectors. In season's final Grand Slam, the US Open, newly crowned world number one, Angelica Kerber, of Germany beat Karolina Pliskova of Czech Republic to lift the women's singles title. In the summit clash, Kerber trumped Pliskova in a three-set match, 6-3, 4-6, 6-4, to win her maiden US Open title.